Welcome back to Fresh Prince Sports, and today we're going to be doing a, another free agency predictions. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy these type of videos. Um, I won't be able to post them, obviously, the whole year, so if you're liking it during this time and want me to keep doing it every single year, then just let me know. Um, but we have Melvin Gordon. Uh, one year after, after one year holding out... Um, from getting from the Chargers giving him a major contract ex extension, Gordon is uh finally getting his chance in the market. There will be teams interested in him, in him, um, as a lot of teams I guess needs running back. Um, uh, really debatable of what the contract is gonna be because there hasn't been like a big contract ex except like you could say like Ezekiel Elliott, but there hasn't been like a big contract for running back. And you know Melvin Gordon is expecting a lot, so we won't, I wonder what it is. But a lot of player teams are gonna want to town their running back like Melvin Gordon. All right, so let's get started with the teams. We have four teams, three in the East, I mean, three in the NFC, four, one in the AFC. Number one is the Dolphins. They need pretty much everything at this point, and they have the money for it. I think they have the most cap space in the NFL, pretty sure. Uh around ninety one million. Uh running the ball under uh a bad eye line, o line is um like Miami won't be easy for Gordon. But Gordon has had a similar bad O line in uh Los Angeles after after watching Mark Walton, Patrick Laird, uh, and Callan Ballage. Uh, the running back from the Dolphins last year. They're going to need another running back. They're either going to draft him or get him. The next team, the Buccaneers. Ronald Jones started to break out last year, but not enough for the Buccaneers to use him and have an excuse not to sign a talented running back like Gordon. Buccaneers have an average O-line and a lot of spending money this year. Uh, to upgrade the offense, as they believe that they are contenders. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't blame them though. The offense, throughout the, okay. So they have a star receiver duo with uh, Mike Evans and Chris Godwin that will keep the defense from focusing on the run. So that gives Gordon a lot of more room to showcase himself, um, and not just defenses thinking. Oh, he's the only good player on their team. We got to stop him. That's our game plan. So if Gordon's going to play like himself in 2018, or even 2017 mainly because 2017 had a great season, but 2018, he was more focused on playing this contract. Uh, uh, with Tampa, the offense will be great, and no matter – the offense will be great. No matter who the quarterback for Tampa will be, they'll still be a great team if they get Melvin Gordon. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm a little bit sick, but um, I'm trying to power through these videos. The Redskins, um, they just got Ron Rivera. He loves to run the ball as he's like an, I would say, in like an old days running back, 1972 power runs. Um, Geis is worth the hype, in my opinion. I'm not saying Geis shouldn't be there. Geis is not that good. He just can't say anything. AP is getting the job done, surprisingly, but I wouldn't be, I putting money on it that this year that AJ Peterson won't have anything left in the tank. So before they make this, before it turns into an actual problem, they need to get a running back uh, because I don't think AJ Peterson this year is going to have the same production as the last two seasons. <laughs> um, just saying. It's going to be that year where he just falls off. Uh, Gordon could be the life and soul of this Redskins team. Which could be a good thing, a good thing and a bad thing, which we will touch up on later in the video. Uh, Lions, much like Rivera, Matt Patricia loves to run the ball. Um, we've seen a team that only threw the ball a couple years ago now get a lot of rushing yards. Um, uh, Carry on Johnson has had injury problems, and even when he was on the field this year, he didn't really showcase how good he was. Patricia's on the. Um, um, hot seat, so he might be fired. So he's gonna do whatever he needs to do to get anybody to make the Lions a winning team because 
he or he's gonna get fired pretty much. He needs to make the Lions a contender as they have Matt Stafford and a good offense. Um so our top two teams we have um um the Redskins are the re- um the top two teams we have um are the Buccaneers and the Redskins. Um Dolphins have the third uh have have uh we're eliminating the Dolphins because they have three first round picks which could um can get them a number one running back with their I think it's eighteenth pick or maybe they have a twentieth pick too. Um either one could get them a first the best running back in the draft, so don't need a running back here. Lions, they won't get him because they are pass first team that might scare Gordon into signing. Um no one really signs with Detroit, but in terms of coming to Detroit to be part of a passing offense is not something I would want to do if I was a rushing running back. So, the chance of him getting him is not really high. Uh, Redskins are a good case for him. Um, running backs have never been... Um, oh, um, it's a good case for him because the all-line there for the Redskins are pretty good and... Um, I think that's where he wants to go in terms of, but I think the number one choice for him is the Buccaneers. They're the best option because they have an opportunity to compete for a championship, in my opinion. I think they're going to be really good. They got the defense settled. Need some help in the secondary, but, you know, they have the spending money. That's really key this year, and I think they're going to lay it out flat. If they don't, it might be a little bad, but, uh, Yeah. So what, something I was supposed to do at the beginning of the video, I forgot to do it, but we're going to touch up on Melvin Gordon's stats. Uh, 67 games, 63 started games, which is five years. In 1,059 rushes, he's had 4,240 rushing yards, 36 touchdowns, um, 36 touchdowns, 224 receptions, 1,873 yards, uh, and 11 receiving touchdowns. He's made two Pro Bowls, and we all know he was drafted in 2015 as the first round 15th pick. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button. Make sure you comment down below. And stay tuned for the next couple videos. April, you already know we're going to do those double uploads. You want to see more draft um, videos, make sure you know. Let me know. Um, you guys said late March in terms of the seventh round, uh, seven round mock draft. I will make it in late March, uh, like you guys said, and then post it um, throughout April. Get all thirty teams before the draft. So, peace. I was 13 when I lost my virginity Fast forward 8 years, bitches still feeling me Drop 6 racks on the pounds and amenities Watch how I'm finna be, loose off this Hennessy